Hello Canada, Kevin J. Johnston here, freedomreport.ca. Just had a great telephone call with a great gal. She sent me over the article that she wrote that went on to PamelaGeller.com, another great person. Leslie Stoffel from Vancouver, British Columbia gave me a call. And that is what I love about the internet is it brings ingenious, clever, and beautiful people like Leslie and myself together through technology. Without the internet, her and I would never have spoken, and I would not know about this great article that she has written, and I'm going to read it for you now and then direct you to her website. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau smears all Canadians with Islamophobia lie to create a Sharia state. Here we go. In politics, stupidity is not a handicap. Napoleon Bonaparte. One of the penalties for refusing to participate in politics is that you end up being governed by your inferiors. Plato. The Prime Minister of Canada will be holding a vote on February 16th of 2017, Motion M103, that if passed, will enact blasphemy laws in Canada, creating a de facto Sharia-compliant state on the northern border of the United States. In order to push this vote forward, Trudeau has diabolically employed psychological warfare tactics created by the Muslim Brotherhood and has smeared the entire Canadian population with the lie that they are Islamophobic. Not only is this false, but it is cruel and unusual emotional and mental abuse that could very well be a human rights issue in itself. To give the motion further, Gravitas, Trudeau has deployed a Muslim woman member of parliament from Ontario, Ikra Khalid, to put the Islamic blasphemy Islamophobia law forward. Canadian Stephanie McWilliams writes in her Planet Free Will article entitled Former President of Student Association, which handed out books condoning wife beating, now pushing anti Islamophobia law about Ikra Khalid. In 2014, the Muslim Students Association of York University handed out a book condoning wife beating. A former president of the same student organization is now pushing a bill to make Islamophobia illegal in Canada. Ikra Khalid was born in Pakistan and moved to Canada in the 1990s. She is a liberal member of parliament, a Muslim, and a former president of York University's MSA. Interestingly enough, despite noting her work as president of a Pakistani student club, her official Liberal Party website makes no mention of her work as president of the York University Muslim Students Association. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? <sighs> Drinking water, by the way, people. Water, not pop, water. With this parliamentary motion, the Prime Minister and his minion, Khalid, hope to wipe this imaginary phobia out by silencing Canadians who have common sense and are concerned about jihad, both violent and cultural, as well as Sharia law uprising, sorry, usurping, my mistake, Canadian laws. If Canadians are able, sorry, if Canadians are not able to speak out about the issues resulting from Islamic law and jihad, they will be put in grave danger. It will also bring danger to Americans, as there are many places on the border where it is possible to simply walk across without a border crossing. She's right. That would be about 99% of the entire border. You just walk across it. President Donald Trump has the Islamic global jihad in his crosshairs, and for good reason. We can all see that the unhindered importation of Islam into Europe is doing. Trump seeks to protect his citizens from this and preserve Western civilization as a whole. In his arrogance... Trudeau announced he would welcome all refugees who are included in President Trump's travel pause, 
from seven failed nation states as the U.S. vetting process goes under some changes. Trudeau's thwarting of Trump's plan bodes ill for the upcoming meeting and this creation of Canada into an Islamic state. That won't help either. (sighs) Coincidentally, the day after Trudeau announced his desire to welcome the supposed rejected refugees, in quotation marks, entering the U.S., a tragic shooting took place at a mosque in Quebec where six Muslims were killed by a young Canadian man. At first, it was reported that there were two suspects, a Muslim and a Canadian. The worshippers heard one of them scream, Alu Akbar. The Muslim suspect was held for 15 hours and then released only as a witness. The story was then framed around the one young Canadian man who was built up to be an Islamophobic white supremacist, Trump supporter, with flimsy evidence, quotation marks, for this, ta- uh, sorry, for this taken from his Facebook page. Trudeau's office interfered and demanded that Fox News remove a tweet that named the Muslim suspect that Fox had reported from the Canadian media and all other news outlets had also reported. It isn't clear if we'll ever get the full and true story on this. Not surprisingly, this incident has been used by the Prime Minister and the propaganda media arm of his party, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, to fuel the hysteria that all Canadians are Islamophobic, and therefore a law banning Islamophobia is absolutely necessary. Trudeau's short-sighted desire to please his Islamic handlers could put Canadian trade, travel, and our special relationships in jeopardy. To keep his country safe from Trudeau's Sharia state, President Trump could very well decide to close the border and build a wall among a myriad of other scenarios. You know, she's right. Mm. First off, um, Leslie Ann Stoffel, who wrote the article, is a pro-Israel counter-jihad activist and writer, and she's been published a lot of places. Not only is she, be- is she beautiful, she is extremely intelligent and a patriot, and you should pay attention to what she is saying, just like you guys out there are paying attention to what I am saying. Now, as for what she has said here in reference to Trump closing the border, why wouldn't he? In fact, I would recommend right now to teach Trudeau a lesson to close the Canadian border. Trump, what the hell are you waiting for? Our prime minister is out of his mind. And you've seen that he wants, for some reason, wants Sharia law here. Please, Trump, you are a man. Pierre's son, possibly Fidel Castro's son, Justin Trudeau, is a child. He's a little boy. A little boy. He's got long flowing locks. But if I grew my hair in, I would too. That's all he's got, his hair. Please, get control of this idiot now before you really do have to close the border. And I'm in full support of Trump closing the border right here and right now just to get the attention of the entire planet. Canada, come on, let's get this guy out of office as quickly as we possibly can before we all are living under Sharia and all you ladies out there who are watching this end up being the property of some dirty, unkempt, unclean, unwashed man. Is that what you want? The average man's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. Do you really want to be the property of some jihadist scumbag? I doubt it very much. Kevin J. Johnston, freedomreport.ca. (laughs) 